Welcome back to part two. I'm gonna continue just working my way through the paint on this car. I'm hopefully gonna get this front firewall done. <laughs> Now it's time to sand the whole thing down and get rid of everything that's on the surface and hopefully make it nice and flat. So in these little body mounts, I can't seem to get anything inside of there to like really get all the grime out. So I'm gonna try burning it out, see if that works. And then if not, I'll move on to figuring something else out. So that actually worked nearly perfectly. I can pretty much just scrape it all out with a flathead screwdriver. It just loosened it up enough to where it'll kind of like just flake off, I guess. And now I'm gonna get the whole car masked up like this. I have masked it all up now. It looks pretty good. You can always do more masking, but you can never do less, if that makes sense. Like, you can't reverse overspray once it's kind of there. I mean, you sort of can, but it's not gonna be as good as if you didn't overspray it in the first place, and then it's a lot less work. But nonetheless, I got most of what I wanted masked up. I'm not worried about the front part at all. I'm worried about the interior and the rest of the car. Everything forward doesn't matter as much. But now that I have done all that, I isopropyl alcohol in the whole thing. Now I'm going to go and tack it down with a microfiber cloth, and then I will be good to paint. Boom, there we go. Next coats tomorrow will be some black. And then some clear coat followed after that. I let the primer dry overnight and it all turned out really good. It's extremely smooth. I sanded it to 400 grit, so it looks and feels really good. I'm gonna be using this engine enamel on it. And you're probably wondering, engine enamel, that's kind of weird using it on a firewall, but. The firewall is going to be getting extremely hot because the engine is going to sit close. And then also this is chemical resistant, so it's perfect for putting next to the uh, slave cylinder and brake cylinder and basically all the fluids that go right there. So I think that's perfect. And it will also protect against uh, battery acid. Not, I'm going to be getting a different battery, but nonetheless, there's going to be all sorts of fluids and stuff up there. So I let that paint dry for about 
40 minutes. The can says to let it dry for 30 minutes, but I figure since it's not only colder than the recommended temperatures, but the humidity is also higher since it's raining. But it's looking pretty good. I don't know, it kind of looks a little splotchy, but I can't exactly tell. It's kind of weird to look at. But I'm going to spray some clear coat anyways. Going in for the last coat of clear coat, this will make four coats total. So I think that should be enough. It says to do two light and one medium. I'm doing two light and two medium just to make sure it's nice and glossy. As the clear coat dot dries, it's becoming a much darker black, so that's nice. It was not looking real great. It was kind of looking like that everywhere. But as it dries, it's gonna darken up. I'm actually going to use the space heater and go around the whole car and use it as like a curing because it says get it to 200 degrees. Now that won't get it to 200 degrees, but it'll hopefully get it to hot enough to where it technically cures. that looks way better than it did. I am extremely excited to get the engine in there with how good that's looking because once I get the engine in there a lot of this stuff will be hidden. I know what you might be thinking like why would I paint and get stuff looking nice before I put the engine in there and yes I did kind of do it out of order whatever but I plan on starting to mock up the engine in there here maybe the next episode I don't know. I'm gonna let this cure for probably couple days so it'll give me time to think about how I want to do it but hopefully I can get the engine mocked up in there and however it fits I have to remove like the AC compressor and the smog pump off of that engine just because I don't it's not going to fit in here anyways and then not only that once I have the engine kind of mocked up in there I can route the brake lines where I want them to go well anyways, if you liked the video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.